Well, we talked about Ryan Yarbrough in the open, and for him, it is all about angles. Tall, lanky, lefty. As soon as he starts his delivery, there's a little bend towards first base line. He creates that lower three-quarter arm angle, and then nothing that he throws is straight. That ball driven out into the alleyway. And it's going to get out for a double, so Mendick will have to stop at third. I'll tell you, this week, Andrew Vaughn has had maybe the two best at-bats we have seen this season. One out, bases loaded. White Sox are 0 for 12. Overall with the bases loaded. The Arboros 1-1. Berger gets a hold of one deep to left center. Not caught, and it'll bounce out of play. So they'll get two runs out of this. Jake Berger comes through. It's 2 nothing. Here it comes. Oh, he didn't mean to, and it's going to be a blue pit. Here comes Berger around third. Two run single, Grandall. Just the half swing, check, single, two RBI single. And a high shot deep into right. Margot will go to the track, and he's going to have room making the catch to retire the side. Eight men come to the plate. Chicago scores four. And they're going to be facing Lucas Giolito. Eight starts, though, so far. Three and two at 3.61 ERA. 42 innings pitched. Been very good on left-handed batters. That's partially because of the changeup he throws. Foul tip. That's a strikeout. He strikes out one out of every three batters. He fanned Kiermaier. Diaz is going to bounce out to Harrison. And it is a one, two, three. After an inning, four nothing, White Sox. Flared into right, and it's a fair ball. The helmet's off, and he's going to stick at second now. Bad throw. Great read. <laughs> I, I always like to laugh when I see Jay Hay just high stepping into a bag. It's great. I love the approaches right now by the White Sox. I think that what they've got going is they came in the game. They said, hey, we're taking this guy the other way. At least the right handers that are in there. And boom. He's got a double for sure. I thought he had a chance at three, but he shut it down being the first batter of the inning. You don't want to make an out. And then all of a sudden he sees a throw. Up. Oh, going to third. And the high step. One and two on Vaughn. Runner at third with one out. That'll get it done. And maybe some more. Just missed a home run. Vaughn digging for two. He's got his second double of the day. 5 nothing. There's a base hit into the left field corner. Vaughn's going to score. It's 6 to nothing. Robert gets into the fray with a single down the left field line. Deep left field. Off the wall. Robert held, and Berger's got a double. Five doubles in the first two innings for the White Sox. I thought that one might get out. And ball four. He gives up the walk. And that's going to be it for the left hander, Ryan Yarbrough, an inning in two thirds. Call to the bullpen brought to you by the Florida Lottery. Swing and a miss. Armstrong comes in, strikes out Pollock on three pitches, limiting the damage. It's 6 nothing. I wish it would change with the situation a little bit. Like right. if you're in kind of panic mode, you've got some serious. Like, Screaming going on. Choi just threw his bat at that one. And a catch made by Vaughn and Wright. He's done it all today. Why not? Vaughn crushing balls at the plate, making great plays. Web Jim's out there in the field. Ground ball fair to first. Grandall gets the play there and the tag at second. That's a double play. Nice play right there by Grandall. Tags the bag at first place and is able to throw a strike to second base. Get that tag. They've lost the first two games. Runner takes off. And Josh will easily steal second base. That's his first. Went with a fastball instead and gets the job done with his second strikeout, two down.
Facing Kiermeyer and a ground ball right to Berger. Quick one, two, three for Giolito. Six nothing socks in the rubber match. Probably could have called him for that one as well. Bendick gets another chance and he'll get it to Harrison at second. Rays with two walks, two hits off Giolito. Oh, there's a shot deep down the left side, and that baby is gone. Parade turned on that one, and the Rays are on the board. His fourth home run. Got to follow it down the line to make sure it stayed fair. That ball well tagged. They're going to try to get Giolito through this, but he's given up a couple of hard hit baseballs this inning. See if they can turn it. They do. Oh, that's big. A 6 4 3 double play, and the Rays are limited to one. So it's first and third now for the Rays. High fly ball back into the left. Pollock will go back in front of that 378 marker. Tag at third. Diaz will score. The throw comes in to second base. So a sacrifice fly will make it 6 2. High fly ball back into right field toward the corner. Vaughn on the move. That's going to be off the wall. Choi on his way to third. Ball still rolling on the warning track. They're going to send Choi, and there will be no play at the plate. And all the way to third goes to Rosarena. And the Rays make it 6 3. Mike Zanino, 0 for 2. And a drive back into left. That baby's going to be gone. Just over that yellow line. And Zanino belts a two run blast. That will make it a one run game. 6 5 White Sox. They scored the first six. Rays came back in the middle innings. Liam Hendricks will try to get the final three outs. Fly ball to left. This should do it. A.J. Pollock makes a catch. White Sox win. They take the series.